Many ubiquitous computing scenarios rely on the ability to automatically identify and track people and mobile devices indoors. Cross-motion is a sensor fusion approach that identifies and tracks mobile devices and the users carrying them. It works by matching the acceleration of the mobile device with accelerations measured throughout the infrared and depth images of a Microsoft Kinect camera. We describe the main steps of the algorithm. The phone's acceleration as reported by its onboard inertial measurement unit is streamed wirelessly to the host computer. Simultaneously, dense optical flow is computed on the Kinect infrared image. Each 2D flow vector is converted to a 3D motion using the depth image. The 3D acceleration at every pixel in the image is estimated using a common filter at each pixel. We use a GPU accelerated implementation so that it can run at video rate. 3D device and image accelerations for each pixel are compared. Here we see the match at each pixel. Darker values indicate agreement. These values are smoothed in time, and the minimum over the image is found, shown here by a red marker. Here we show how the acceleration at the minimum closely tracks the device acceleration. Accelerations are compared in the Earth's frame of reference as used by the phone's inertial measurement unit. We calibrate the Kinect camera to report values in the same frame of reference. Please see the paper for more details. Cross motions match can be used to track the person carrying the device, but there are many cases where it can also track the device itself, even if it is out of view of the camera. Here we see how the technique works when the phone is in the person's shirt pocket, even with a distractor in the scene. Notice how the body exhibits the same acceleration as the phone and is therefore matched correctly. The technique also works when the phone is in the person's pants pocket. This ability to match movement of completely occluded objects makes cross-motion an interesting complement to existing video-based tracking techniques. Because cross-motion is not view-dependent, it can be used in a wide variety of configurations. Here we show a configuration in which Kinect skeletal tracking typically fails. Because it is based on matching accelerations, cross-motion can't find the device when it is stationary, such as when it is left on a table. But as soon as some movement occurs, it quickly locks on. To evaluate the performance of cross-motion, we conducted a user study where participants drew letters in mid-air with their phone. In this experiment, cross-motion correctly landed on the person's body 99% of the time, with an average distance to our reference marker of about 7 centimeters. For more results, please see the paper. In one condition, a distractor in the scene tried to mimic the participants' movements. While some of the motions were visually quite similar, cross-motion was never confused by the distractor. Crossmotion offers a real-time identification and tracking solution for smartphones and other devices equipped with an IMU, and can enable a wide variety of ubiquitous computing scenarios.